Welcome back. This morning we wanted to bring in Austin Mayor Steve Adler with the fourth explosion happening here in the city. Now in southwest Austin, so many people are scared because of how random it is and not knowing what's going to happen next. What are, what are you being told? What is the latest information we're getting? Well, you know, we're, we're a safe city and that's why these kind of horrific events stand out the way that they do. I think the most important thing for people to, to know is that uh, we've broadened the, the, the warning, uh, if it were. It may not be, it may be something different than just a package on the, on the porch. Mm -hmm. uh, the chief said that uh, there's some indication that this most recent explosion could be related to a tripwire. So at this point, we're telling people not only packages on the doorstep, but if you see anything that's suspicious, just don't go near it. Uh, call 911. Uh, if you're wondering whether or not to call 911, the answer to that question is yes. Let somebody else decide what's important and what's not important. The other thing that I want everybody in the community to know is that there is just an army of people that are, are here dealing with this. Not only our law, local law enforcement people, uh, but, but multiple federal agencies. The state is here. Uh, there's literally an army of people that are involved at this point, and they are getting all of the resources that they need to do the work that they, they feel needs to be done. And, and this is the highest priority that we have. We're going to find who is responsible for this, and we're going to stop it. You said that you would like people to call 911 if they see anything suspicious. I think the number of calls at last update that police have received for suspicious packages was somewhere like 730 or something. Uh, what has the chief said to you, or what do you know about what this is, the kind of effect this is having on the strain of resources for the department? Chief says then that, that we have the resources to be able to handle the calls that are coming in and all the calls that, that, that would or will come in. Uh, we have a lot of agencies in the area that are offering to give us additional support. The state is there. Uh, we, we have the resources we need for people to call. We want people to feel very comfortable with making those calls, uh, not only to protect them, but, but to help us get the, the, the perhaps some, some information or some evidence that would be that would be helpful. So we have the resources we want people to call. The fact that over 700 people have called thus far is, is a good thing. Mm -hmm. Well, and the one thing we, we haven't heard a lot about is surveillance video. It seems like this day and age everyone has either a ring doorbell or some sort of surveillance on their home. Are you hearing from police about them being able to watch surveillance video from these neighborhoods and from the areas where these explosions are happening? I can assure you that this army of investigators are are, are grabbing and, and taking all the available evidence, uh, and that would include um, uh, video surveillance. We've seen, you know, w with explosions or, or bombings in the past, um, you know, whatever their motivation be, targeting, you know, larger events or places where they're, you know, we had South By in town this past weekend, and, and it was completely fine. Based on what police have told you, are they, I mean, I guess thankful, of course, and nothing happened, but surprised that this seems to be targeting just homes or small neighborhoods and not larger events like that. You know, I, I, I think that, that at this point, uh, the, the public safety folks are not ruling out any possibility. Mm -hmm. uh, they're not ruling out any theory. Uh, when you do that, you, you stop asking questions. Uh, maybe you won't notice something that you should have noticed. And, and obviously, uh, we want to find the, the answer to this just as quickly as we can so that it impacts the fewest number of people as mm -hmm. possible. Uh, so to answer your question, are we happy it hasn't gotten even of bigger? Course, well, yeah, then the answer to that is, is of course. But are you surprised? I mean, were, were you personally surprised that with such a huge event going on in town that, I guess not surprised that nothing happened, but I guess I, the point is, is that it doesn't seem to follow the pattern that we've come to expect. Um, but in terms of this investigation, um, you mentioned the army of, uh, of people coming in from the federal government. Do you feel like there's going to be more needed, or do we have the amount of people that we need working this investigation? I know that they'll bring in however many people they need, uh, mm -hmm. however many people will, will, will help uh, determine what the answers are uh, in this situation. You know, when you're out there uh, with, the, with those groups, it is, uh, it is incredible uh, uh, just how professional and, and focused and, and determined uh, these, these, these folks are. Mm -hmm. uh, I have no doubt that they are bringing in everything they need to do absolutely the best possible job.
Well, and this is certainly getting headlines around the world for what's happening here in Austin. Are you hearing from anybody offering support or condolences or uh, extra help from other cities, other countries? You know, we're, we're, there are a lot of people that are, that are offering assistance and, and aid at this point and, and, and thoughts and, and prayers. Uh, and certainly the thoughts and prayers of our city uh, uh, are going out to the, to the victims and, and their families. Uh, everybody is, is, is focused on this. Uh, and that's why it's important, those two things. Make sure people just don't go and touch or approach anything that looks mm -hmm. suspicious and call 911 and know that there is a large and determined and well-resourced effort uh, involved in this. Have you heard from President Trump at all? I have not heard from the President. Okay. okay. Mayor Steve Adler, thank you so much. We appreciate your time. And again, your message basically, if you see something suspicious, call 911. Correct. That is, that is the main message at this point. Thank all you right. for coming in. We thank certainly you. appreciate it.